So this is one of my uh, app ideas that I've been developing in my home lab on um, some of my computers and uh, sharing to GitHub and um, other platforms like that. Uh, this one, I haven't decided on a name. Um, it's just essentially a voting app. Um, I think the name I'm working with now is called TrueVote, um, but that isn't exactly uh, concreted in yet. So uh, its basic summary is an app. It's a platform, website, etc. for um, all devices. I'm designing it in uh, Flutter um, using the Dart language uh, because it's deployable and updatable to every platform, iOS, Android, uh, Windows, Linux, web, TV, everything, everything can use this. Um, and it's designed to increase voter engagement and education by providing users with access to comprehensive information about candidates and issues, as well as the ability to participate in surveys and discussions with other members of the community. So one of the main benefits is increased access to information. Um, actually, let me back that up. Uh, it's core concept when I first thought of this idea was I'm not a political person. I don't know Republican from Democrat, left from right. I, I, it's you're speaking another language to me. And with everybody so radicalized, it's hard to even ask somebody without them being extremely biased or offended that you're even asking for information uh, most of the time. So I thought at first, when you first register for the app, that Here's what I found. you uh, complete a survey, uh, questionnaires that ask what your values are, um, what's important to you. Um, these topics can be local or um, countrywide, such as reproductive rights, smoking, uh, gun rights, you know, the list goes on. You basically have to fill out which of these are important to you. And that will give a metric that will then show you who your voting options are. And then the pros and cons of voting for each individual based on your values. So if, for example, you are um, for the right to choose for abor abortion <clears throat> and, you, and you fill that out in the questionnaire... When it shows you a candidate, it should explain what their stance is on that issue. And that if you vote for them, <clears throat> that might mean that they're going to take away those rights. Or if you vote for them, they're going to fight for those rights. Uh, but with each of those answers, it should also have a pro and con. So it's a, you know, we understand that your values are reproductive rights. But this person is also running on increasing taxes, et cetera, or whatever it may be, to give you the full picture. So you're not just black and white. It's not just uh, as easy as A or B a lot of the time. These are complex systems and issues that need a lot more nuance and uh, understanding to navigate as an average citizen. So this app is created to help the average person uh, educate them, provide comprehensive information on the candidates and the issues around those candidates, their prof the candidates' profiles, um, issues that those candidates have or summaries of them, and news events or um, updates to any of these issues all built in. <clears throat> um, so including the engagement and education, there should be interactive other features besides the initial survey of values um, to discuss and educate voters continuously on uh, new and expanding issues. Um, I was thinking there could be a community discussion where there could be like a public forum where people can vote um, on issues so that people can have an understanding of where people are on certain issues in any specific demographic or area that they may be in. Um, it should, I, in its design, it should be very easy to use and user-friendly, um, just like left, right, yes, no, uh, you're not going to have to write 
you know, a paragraph or respond in any way. If you don't want to, it's just supposed to educate. And if you want to engage, it should have the ability to do so. <clears throat> so the basic layout of this app right now is I have a welcome page that takes you to like a registration or a login page. Once logged in, uh, you can go to the user profiles page to put in your information that you'd like to have public or in our system at all, which is completely optional. Uh, it should have a survey and quiz page where you can, um, you know, answer public questions or engage uh, with these type of surveys to get better data and um, information um, to be used to help uh, candidates and the community understand where people's uh, concerns and values are. Um, another page on there would be for the candidates and the issues uh, at every stage of your government from the local municipalities and ombudsmen to the president or any other Congress or elected official. Um, <clears throat> I was going to add a budget and expenditure page that would display information on political campaigning expenditures and budgets, uh, which would enable a lot more oversight and transparency as to who's giving what money to where, when, and how it's being spent. Uh, there would be a news feed slash timeline page that could provide um, a timeline of political events, updates, news. Um, I already said there would be a community forum or discussion page. Uh, I was going to integrate public API um, things such as opensecrets.org uh, and other um, publicly available information on political spending and other related data um, at every level, municipal, state, county, country, um, to get a better overview and to be able to easily find this information um, right there on the spot and have it updated from these credible APIs uh, that these government or other um, organizations provide. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that actually covers most of what I had written down here. So um, yeah, at its core, um, this is just an education and advocacy for issues and who to vote for, why you should vote for them, why you shouldn't vote for them and the repercussions or um, larger scale impacts of voting for any which person at any level uh, and how that aligns with your values, what you're, what's important in those values. If there's a scale that you care more about uh, reproductive rights than you do about taxes. So maybe you're willing to make that compromise and vote for the person who lets you have abortions even though you know you're gonna get higher taxes. Um, you should be able to grade your values that way so that it can more comprehensively um, understand who you want to vote for and why and help explain the nuances of attempting to vote for somebody. Uh, it, it should also keep track of these politicians, what they're promising, and then keeping track of them in terms of dates, timelines, and if they fail to follow through with these promises, um, to quickly uh, make that public and therefore at the next re-election or uh, election stage, they would be removed for not following through on what they had promised. Um, I feel like there's a lot of uncertainty and confusion and anger and bias going around. And I feel like a neutral app like this that isn't pushing a left or right agenda and just wants to educate people is more important than ever right now. <clears throat> uh, like I said, I, I'm working on this myself. Uh, I am about 20% done. Um, I am actually debugging the app right now. I've just integrated Firebase um, databases uh, into the app and I'm just debugging at that stage now. Uh, so once that's done, users sh should be able to log in and register with the app. And um, after that, just a matter of time of uh, finishing up the rest of the pages, uh, collaborating with a few other um, places and getting some API uh, information to integrate into it. And I'm hoping that I can partner or just make this 
completely open source so that everyone can see exactly how this works, that there's no data mining, there's no uh, agenda, that this is just what it says it is, and the public can confirm that with it being open source. Um, this is one of those ideas that I was originally keeping my GitHub private on. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to not necessarily monetize, but I just wanted to maybe have the uh, validation or acknowledgement that I did this. But um, considering I'm more of a junior level programmer with only about three or five years or so of uh, programming experience, um, I can only do so much by myself. And I'm building the framework, I'm building the front facing app and some of the back end databases, but I'll probably need some help in the future to uh, integrate some more of these advanced functions and forums and uh, the scale, the weighing scales of these values that uh, need to be hashed out. But ultimately, I feel like this is super important. And it's not just for United States, I feel like every country or every every place that has a government should be able to keep tabs on them and understand where the money's going, what it's being spent on, by who, when, where, and that if there's any kind of corruption or misuse of those powers that they can be swiftly dealt with and acknowledged and that these apps can serve as a public outcry um, for these issues. Um, at the very least, to just bring attention um, to them it, as, uh, I guess I'm trying to say is, you know, a lot of these problems, and especially in other countries uh, that have socialism or other kind of dictatorships, it can be hard to get out of those systems. And even with an app like this, it would probably not make that much difference in those type of um, scenarios. But at least here in America, maybe we can get things back on track and um, just get back to being civil, logical people who can learn and grow and understand complex issues. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not political. I, I don't lean in any direction and I really don't understand it, nor do I want to. Um, I do, however, want to change the system because it's clear that both sides are upset and nobody's happy. And until we educate ourselves on exactly who's causing the problems and how to change them, and unless we come together as a society in something like this, uh, I don't see many other solutions.